Hi there, my name is Stacia Seitzma. I'm an engagement strategist here at the Chamber. And a big part of my job is to make sure that our members are utilizing their benefits to the full potential. And one thing I'm noticing is that members aren't utilizing our MIC as much as they could. Our MIC is also called our Member Information Center. And I'm gonna give you a quick overview on how to navigate through it and why it's important to your company. So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna go to the Chamber main webpage. This is what you're gonna see. If you go up here to the member login tab, if you click it, it's gonna ask you to create an account or log in. Now, the nice thing about the Chamber is that every single one of your employees is a member of the Chamber on their own. So there's no need to have one master username and password to share with everybody, they can all have their own individual ones. So once you go ahead and create that account, this is what you'll see. Now, this page is specifically for the primary rep. All that means is that is the main person that is in charge of their chamber membership. A lot of people think it should be the CEO or the president or somebody like that. And that's not always the case. When you're picking who the primary rep is, it should be somebody that's going to be invested in the chamber membership and is going to be consistently updating information that's needed. So with that being said, here you just have our welcome page, some like little notes about things going on. This is where you'll find our directory with all the chamber members listed in alphabetical order. Obviously, you can still use this search bar if you're looking for something specific. This is all our events listed from upcoming ones to the ones that are further out. Here is some of our how-to, some of the additional discounts you can get with the chamber. This is where you can see how many people have viewed your page. Here's where you find our hot deals and our member to member deals. And here is where you can change your settings. Now, first you can change your own personal settings. Say you got a promotion or you changed your title, you changed your phone number, any of that, this is where you can add it. And not only does it change on here, it changes on our side too. So we automatically get that updated information, which is nice because then we don't have to call you and try to find it on our own. So username, password, you can add a photo, you can add, you can add your groups and interests. Now this is a tab I want you to pay attention to because when you first start at the chamber, we kind of just put you in categories and email listings that we think you would like. If you find that that's not, the ones you want to be in, or you would like to be in additional ones, this is where you go. So if you want to know about annual and signature events, you can click on it and you'll start getting the emails. Say, mm, I don't, I don't really want to know about YPN. That's kind of not what I'm into. You can unclick that and you will stop getting emails. This is a much better option than just blocking us because once that's done, we can't get you back. So that here you're in control of what you're seeing and the information you're getting from us. You can add any social networking you have and this, you can add as much information about yourself as you want on your webpage. This is what goes out to the public. So anybody looking at the website and this can go out just to members. This is where you edit your company information. So you have your address, your email address, your how many business, how many employees you have, how how long you've been in business. Um, this for this email, I would suggest you use whatever generic one you have, because uh, you will get whatever emails people click on on the main page. You can add anything about your website. You can add logos, photos, videos. I'm gonna show you one that is well built out to show you what that can look like. So this is Legacy Plumbing and they have done 
filled every check that we offer. So you have your address, you have the link to the website, somebody can send you an email from here, which is why you wanna do that generic one if possible. You have a link to their Facebook page. You have a map that shows where they're located. Hours, driving directions, they have it all. They even linked some of the specific pages of their website. Photos and then the contact rep. So that's what it looks like. And I will say the ones that are more filled out, they do get a lot more interaction with the rest of our members and the community. So this is each one of these tabs is where you can add those things. And for the photos, it will tell you the size once you click on it. And if you ever have an issue with this, you can go ahead and call us and we'll walk you through it if you need it. Now, this is our billing tab. This is where you can add uh, one card to be on file for us. So if you have multiple people signing up for business after hours, they can all be on that one card and you don't have to worry about passing the card around to person to person so they can all sign up. It's just right there for them to use. Here's where your invoices are. If you have outstanding ones, you'll also get a little icon when you log in up here that says you have an invoice, which is also nice. And you can just pay it right online. We do have the option for you to auto bill, which means just every year, those renewing things like your YPN, some of the ambassador payments, your membership, those can all be on auto pay so you don't have to worry about it. So you can set that up right there. Here is your transaction history. So if you're looking for an invoice and need to print it out, you don't have to call us if you you can just print it off on your own right there. And then of course your shopping cart. So this is what the primary rep sees. Now, if you're just a person in the company, um, you get access to this. You can see the company information, but you can't edit it. Um, but you can have somebody look and see, hey, can you just look and see if our address got updated and whatnot. And they can also register for their own events through their website. So in a nutshell, that's the MIC and that's why it's important for you to utilize it as a company. I hope I helped you navigate a little bit and what it looks like. And if you ever have any questions, feel free to call us.